Soft Systems is really taking the idea of how we put together textile construct in terms of the, the structure itself um, and in terms of the surfaces and using that and putting them together in a way, thinking of them as a system in itself. You know, weave is not just a, a woven piece of cloth, it's actually a system for doing something. We think about the soft in terms of materials and the technologies that go into making what we understand as textiles. But also we look at the systems and textiles has a really exciting part to play in looking at how we can develop effective systems for the future. Students that were coming in and were interested in the specialism wanted the opportunity to start to explore the integration of technology through textile processes, but also to design that technology in more meaningful soft ways. So soft systems graduates, they're already starting to behave in a slightly different way to textile designers on other courses. They hack machines, they already start to reverse engineer scientific processes, but put these into their own systems and their own knowledge. My research addressed the innovative and creative use of nanomaterials, such as graphene in textiles, to efficiently engage with the structural, conceptual and technical possibilities offered by the traditional textile making. Even though we use new technology to produce material, we need the knowledge from the craft side to imbue the new projects. I have this intuition that smart material could add something else to my puppetry. Uh, instead of having a human manipulator, I have the environment who will manipulate the puppets. I'm in quite a unique position in terms of my supervision team because I have both a material scientist and a textile designer. That combination really allows me to lean on one or the other or ask questions depending on the challenges that might be arising at different points in the research. That transition of taking these craft-based processes into industry has then afforded us the opportunity to work with industry in new ways. The designer is then in a position to influence the way that the materials are developed. They're not just the, the user of them, they're much more upstream and they're involved in that process. I think we're going to see this having a really important part to play in understanding how we can design systems in a way that connects to people.